As a beginner, uh, there are certain techniques a beginner should learn uh, in order to progress in watercolors. Um, the few techniques which we learn uh, for beginners to understand better of watercolor paints is washing. So there are many ways of applying paint on a paper, uh, on a watercolor paper. But I will, I will show you guys how to apply wash on a watercolor paper. And as a beginner, you can, as you progress, you can come up with your own wash as we go. Okay, there are three types of uh, washes in watercolors. The first wash is the flat wash. The second one is called gradient wash, and the third one is called color gradient wash. Um, let's focus on the flat wash first. Uh, this is the most uh, fundamental technique in a wash and this is a traditional way of applying uh, watercolors on a watercolor paper. So the golden rule when you apply this wash is to have a lot of uh, water in your brush. As you can see in my brush, you can see there's a lot of water in my brush. So I'm going to do a flat wash. You could see I'm putting a lot of water, the colors are already present in my, water, in my palette. So what I can do is I could go ahead. And I'll just do it here and you could see just like that so this is called the flat wash you could see I don't have any colors in it and it's kind of like you know flowing really good and you can see it's really flat the other way you could do it is to load a lot of water in your brush you could see once I press it there's a lot of water coming in my brush so you could just like wet your watercolor paper like this so I'm applying water on my brush so throw some scars. This car is, I'll just do this. So we don't have to do anything. The water will, you know, do the work for us. So that's a beautiful thing about watercolors. So this is a good example of flat wash and this is an easy way to do it. And every beginner should learn how to do it. And I would recommend do a little bit of practice on it and you can go from there. So now let's go to the gradient wash. So the gradient wash is nothing but creating a gradient uh, from a pigment. So I'm going to load a pigment in my brush, but this time I'm not having any water in my brush. You can see it. So I'm taking a little bit of uh, French ultramarine blue. So I'm going darker at the top. So now in order to create a gradient, so I'm going to add a little bit of water in, our, water in my brush. You can see I'm going to use the water in this. So I'm going to apply where this goes. So, so you could keep rubbing it till you get like a really good gradient. And uh, one thing to keep in notice, the watercolor paper I'm using is a cheap watercolor paper, so it's not giving that much gradient in my uh, watercolor paper. Uh, if you are using a really good watercolor paper and it gives a really good gradient, you can also see, you can also apply uh, paint after that and you can also bring everything down like this. So this is called gradient wash and this helps us to create clouds and any kind of forms uh, in an object or fruits or anything like that. So the next wash is called color wash. So the color wash nothing but is, you can see, uh, you're blending colors with uh, different kind of colors, that's it. So as the name suggests, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take French ultramarine blue right here. So as it comes here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of yellow ochre. So I'm going to have, uh, you can see I'm mixing in my palette with a little bit of yellow ochre in it. I'm just going to mix colors in it. And you can also clean the brush with a paper towel or you can use a towel to clean your brush but I'm not going to do it because I'm going to since I have a, a red pigment in my left over palette I'm just going to blend it okay let's blend in some other color so I'm going to take a little bit of cadmium yellow I'm going to load the brush with water and I'm just going to blend it like that so this is called color gradient wash as you can see, we blended like almost four colors in a wash and you can see there's a gradient and there's a flat wash. So this is how you create your washes. Once you master it, you can progress into something a little bit difficult. Thanks again for watching this how to do washes in a watercolor video. I highly recommend watching the techniques of watercolor after watching this video and check out the demonstration as well, implementing all the techniques what we learned today. Uh, before you go, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, comment below and uh, see you guys in the next one.